Awesome. So, y'all have any uh, words to the people out there that want to grow beards, that want to check y'all out? Just a piece of, you know, I don't know, advice, some, some kind of... What's kind of neat is... Last words. You know, there there have been some people who have been, you know, involved on our Facebook group for a while and posted and commented and things like that. And all of a sudden, they'll be like, hey, when I comb my beard, like, a lot of hair is falling out. Have you guys seen, like, we get actual, like, legitimate growing, like, questions. your beard questions. Wow. And it's just, like, some of us know these things, others don't, and it's just, like, oh, yeah, that's totally natural, don't worry about it. Or, you know, we all kind of learn something and share our own knowledge, because when you're, you're growing a beard for, like, a purpose, and you're actually, like, trying to grow something to a length or have a goal in mind or a style that you're going for, you know, you try to make that happen it's not just letting it grow and yeah. so sometimes people are doing it for the first time they're like hey what do i do like they really don't know <laughs> and, and, and it's not just letting it grow obviously yeah, it's because yeah. there's a difference between growing a beard and grooming a beard okay and that's that's a distinction that people don't really immediately know right off the bat if they're growing their first beard they're not going to really know the difference between growing and grooming and that's you know kind of where we come in as far as mm -hmm. you know being a support community if you will yeah <laughs> and they get different ideas from everybody that's in the club too as well because not everybody somebody's way might well, might not work for somebody else right mm -hmm. but everybody that chimes in they get different you know techniques so they can you know pick and choose which works best for them so yeah it's not just one set well thank you Wes for letting me touch your beard um is that allowed like yeah, no, in public no I mean like in oh. general do y'all just do y'all get that a lot a lot of people want I, yes I get that a lot that's yeah a lot. And, and you know it's surprising I, I actually get a lot from the guy as well as ladies too which is really strange <laughs> the guys don't get to touch it so much they have to sneak up on me in order mm -hmm. to do that so you allow but the ladies but not I the men I allow the ladies to an extent uh, yeah <laughs> but, I mean a lot of people are curious uh, you know there's it's not every day that you come across a person who's, who's sporting a big full beard so yeah. um, in this point in San Antonio it is uh, Something that that's uh, especially this time extravagant of year. And, and foreign, yeah. yeah, yeah, especially during the summer. It's hot under there, isn't it? Everybody says it's like, why it's is it so hot? It's not too bad. I'm see, I'm no. so it's white. That that it's just that less places me. I've got to put on sunscreen. <laughs> you're so, so white. also, <laughs> and you do yeah. have to because I went to the beach and I thought because I had the beard, that's fine. Oh, I got this burnt right here, horrible. I had like two rosy that's, red. That's cheeks. what this is for, my friend. That's yeah. I'm gonna start styling. Oh, there you go. Start styling it upwards. This is the rest covers my face. Well, That's gentlemen, uh, Wes gave us a little bit of advice. And do you have any last words for our bearded audience, non-bearded audience? Oh, Wes, um, no, I'm just, I would just like to thank y'all for having us. This was a yeah. great experience. Yeah. Um, and uh, anybody who's seen this, I would just like to uh, invite you to join us, come find out about us, and come help us uh, raise money for San Antonio Charities. And Danny, I would offer you some last words, but I'm sure no one cares to hear what you have to say. I'm gonna say it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Those of you that are about to start growing, you're gonna you're gonna come in contact with other people who might not uh, agree with you on growing it. Ignore them. <laughs> grow it how you feel. You know, just do it. Do it. You're, you know, and eventually they're gonna grow to. They're gonna come to accept it, and eventually they're gonna like it, and then they're gonna be asking you more about it. So and also don't be the, discouraged by your stubble. And also there is the perpetual question of does it ever stop itching? If you grow your beard past two or three weeks, you will be fine. You'll we'll forget it's there. It will not itch. So no put longer. the razor yeah. down. It becomes another appendage. Well, there's, exactly. there's a lot of folks who grow that where at the beginning you, you know your hair is curled back in. And it'll irritate and so, skin. But you know this this oil that we had here this helps with that. It helps moisturize and things like that. Small snake oil. Oh. A little nice, yeah. Uh, <laughs> little snake venom. <laughs> Never heard nobody. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all are you know a trip. That weird tonic in there. <laughs>